Hello everyone. I uh, wanted to kind of talk about the Tag Heuer of Monaco again. This is the newest version. I, I've done a video, or maybe two, probably one good one and one that was just quick. Uh, I don't want to talk about this again. This is the new newest version. I did not memorize the model number. It's probably back here. Let's see. As you uh, Hoyer O2 movement. So anyway, this is the one of the main reasons I got this one is because it has the new upgraded movement, uh, chronograph movement with the column wheel, which I believe is that red wheel right there. But um, it's pretty impressive. Like you, like when you buy a really nice watch. What I've noticed often is when you wind it, it just has this feeling of quality and smooth, kind of buttery feeling. This has that. And same goes with the the pushers. They feel like super high quality. So I'm just impressed with the, probably the watch versus what I somewhat expected. Um, and I know I've said this before, but <clears throat> when you first, if you haven't seen one of these live, the expectation and yeah it's a weird design the expectation is god it's just like a big giant block and yeah it's square and it's not thin but immediately the first thing i thought was wow that's a lot smaller like the dial is very small and intricate and has this major uh vintage vibe going but um i just gotta tell you i really am enjoying this i, I wasn't sure i would and I bought it from a, one of the gray market dealers, one of the big name high volume dealers for a relative you know, decent discount. And it was brand new, it didn't have the papers, but it had stickers on it. It was totally brand new. So I think I even still have stickers on the clasp. Yeah, you can see it's still a sticker right there. So. Anyway, um, I would highly recommend this if you've been curious about the Monaco. Probably the one to get is the Steve McQueen version, which has the crown on the left side. And the dial is, I believe, more of a matte blue. And then the strap on that one is, I think they may call it a racing strap. It has sort of the holes in it, I think, or, per, you know, it's just a more sporty design. But anyway, really enjoying this watch. Highly recommend if you're into... Um, or have thought about this particular model over the years. And I uh, hope everyone's having a great week. Thanks. Bye-bye.